Hello everyone, welcome to the Retune YouTube channel. My name is Tom Ryder and I'm here today with Johnny Benjamin, MBE, who has written this book, The Stranger on the Bridge, uh, which tells a really, really interesting story of uh, some stuff that happened to him a few years ago and his, his ongoing journey within mental health. Thanks for joining us today, Johnny. Well, thank you, thank you. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about how Johnny's book and Johnny's life links into what we do at Retune, which is of course connecting creativity with well-being. And one thing I noticed from your book is that you are inherently a very, very creative person. Um, you've written poetry, you've danced, you've been in theatre productions, obviously you've written this book as well. And I just wanted to explore the importance of that creativity in your life and how creating helps you. Mm. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's been a... Uh, <laughs> A massive part of my journey and, and, and my sort of, uh, yeah, ongoing ongoing uh, management of my mental health. Um, yeah, I was always creative from, like, from being really small, from being really small. Um, and my mum, she put me into drama classes when I was about six because she didn't know what to do with me. I wasn't into, like, sport or anything. And um, the rest of my family were really into, like, sport, really sporty, and I was just not like that. Um, so she put me into these drama classes when I was six, and that's when I kind of flourished. And, um, yeah, and then from then, really, I just, I don't know, just loved, uh, yeah, being creative. And growing up, my particular thing was... Um, uh, the, the theatre, I always loved um, being other characters because, you know escape you can escape into someone else's mind for a little bit um so for me it was always yeah always theater and then music became a massive part of my life um again it was a lot of it is uh well a lot of it growing up was escapism you know escapism the theater the music uh poetry it was all about yeah escapism because it was just too intense and overwhelming in my head growing up mm. and i just uh I couldn't make sense of it. I couldn't make sense of it. And so, yeah. And so, yeah, creativity was essentially, it was a kind of lifeline for me, I think, growing up. And it still is today, but in a different sort of way. Um, that makes sense. Mm. And, ha and having those kind of outlets to, whether it's putting on a page or, as you say, being on stage and kind of losing yourself yeah. in a character, is that, did that have a positive impact in terms of you walk away thinking, right, I've, I've sort of cleared some of those thoughts now? Yes and no. Or I mean, I remember. Uh, see, it depended on the <laughs> on the character I was playing or the song that I was listening to. But when I remember when I started uh, uni, um, I started university in in two thousand five, and I remember um, I got my first iPod and it was so exciting. Um, and I started making these playlists and I called them like the blues and it was all really kind of. Uh, a lot of radio heads. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, just quite a lot of angry music. It was, it was, it was uh, sad music. Mm -hmm. And so I would, you know, whenever I would be in a bad headspace, I'd listen to that, and it would just, it would, I'd resonate with it, but it, it would kind of make me worse. Mm -hmm. um, same with yeah, like the, the characters on stage. Yeah, you know, uh, for instance, I played Hamlet at uh, one term in, in in drama school, and. Um, that wasn't good for my head because Hamlet's pretty messed up. Yeah, do you know what sure. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. So getting like when I was able to get into characters um, that didn't have all that stuff going on, then it, you know I was able to clear stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I was uh, going into university in a really bad way, and then having to get into Hamlet and and be Hamlet for the day, and then come out of that, and and it was just it was just it was. Uh, it, it didn't do any good for my for my mental yeah. health. It really there was one particular play that I did, which is called um, um, a, a Mackinac, um, and it's uh, it's by Sophie Treadwell, and it's all about this this um, young woman who um, is executed for for murdering her husband. And it was a really powerful play. But I actually I played the woman. I played the young woman that that killed um, her husband and got executed, and that really it really messed me up. Mm. 